Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to OnHow channel. If you don't know, my name is NS and I'm working for you and now you know. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to resize the logo of your Shopify store only on the mobile. And yes, you heard that right. The regular size or the size that you will set from the team customizer uh, will be the same as the on the desktop obviously and i mean the same as the number or the size that you did set it on the team customizer however on the mobile it will be a completely different size so in real time you can switch between the mobile and the desktop and it will show a different size for the logo so the changes on the size for the logo on the mobile will not be affecting the logo size on the desktop and this is an issue that a lot of people having lately and this is actually a request by one of my subscribers and yes just like i said in the beginning of the video i'm working for you just drop me a request about something that or fixing some issue and i will be happy to make even a video for you with my own support so the ball is yours as they say and as i said i will show you how to resize the logo only on the mobile and personally i do have this problem i mean on the shopify store that you see right now on the screen this is actually a shopify store that i do all the tutorials on and everything you see on the shopify store i did them in tutorial video and i did provide the code for it as well because if you don't know most of my tricks i don't use apps and so on to do the trick or the thing i actually use a custom code custom liquid code that will do the trick and if you are wondering why i do so well because apps, too many apps on your Shopify store will actually affect the loading time of your Shopify store. And affecting the loading time equals affecting the conversion rate. And that's really important when it comes to Shopify or in e-commerce in general. That's why I only use custom liquid code that, to do the tricks or the things I do share in my videos. So for example, this video banner that you see right now with the text and button and so on, as well as transparent header as you can see, and the video for the banner is actually playing underneath the header. And that's really cool. And all the things I said right now, I did show them in video tutorials by using a custom liquid code. And not just that, a lot more actually, even the changing the hover effect for the menu as you can see, and not just that, a lot more actually, even changing the hover color on the menu as you can see, as well as adding the hover effect for the menu in here. But let's just go chalk in and let's just get to it and show you how to actually resize the logo in here just for the mobile and not for the desktop. The desktop will stay the same, which is this size right here. And as I said, I do have this problem myself. So for example, if I did access the inspect element and switch to mobile, which is a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, as you can see the logo looks a little bit bigger so i will do demonstration on this store right here i will resize the logo in here so it will be smaller or either bigger you can choose actually but in my case i'm going to make it more even smaller and i will close this window right here and the size should, should stay the same in here so remember the size for it like now it is exactly the same size as the text on this notification buyer in here so as i said i will do the trick come back in here reload the page and it will be much much smaller so let's just stay on this page right here and right now you see the size for it the next thing you're going to do is head over to shopify dashboard obviously and click on the online store from the left menu then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code right here and after that it will show you the code editor for your shopify team then the next thing you're going to do is head over to a folder assets right here you will uh, find it at the bottom of the page right here so this is the assets folder where you're gonna find some css files so simply click on it and you will find a lot of css and gs file and make sure you do access this one which is base.css uh, it will be either base.css or team.css so each team use different uh, file name but they are the same however most of the new ones right now they use base.css so as i said either base.css or team.css so Click on the base.css or team.css and you will see a lot of CSS code. And yeah, I said CSS too many times. I apologize. After that, the next thing you're going to do is scroll down all the way down to the bottom of the page. Let me drag this down. Here we go. After that, you will uh, need to access a, a completely new line and nothing on it. And make sure you do that. And the next thing you're going to do is, as always, scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. Simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here. Uh, with a very short call and as i said you don't have to pay for it or anything like that this is completely free and just like i said click on it and it will take you to this uh, page right here with a very short call five lines to be exact and make sure to select this call make sure to select the whole code with the closing brackets right here as well so let's just select the whole code and right click and copy after you did copy the code get back in here and simply paste it 
in a completely new line at the bottom of the page or the bottom of the file base.css or team.css. So let's just pass it in here. And as you can see in here, it says 100 px. So 100 is actually much smaller than the regular size. Let me uh, reaccess it. Here we go. So this is the regular size. And uh, this is equals the a size and you can change the number either bigger or smaller let's just click on save and see the changes right now and we will do a little bit of tweaking to it so let's just click on the save button and after the changes were saved, it we will get back to shopify store here we go and we will reload the page and right now you see how the logo looks like it's a little bit bigger so let's just reload the page and see if it will change and it will stay the same and it will actually because i know it does so let's just reload the page and here we go check out the logo right now it's much much smaller right but if i close this and get back to the desktop version it will be the same as the regular uh, size for the logo let's just close this and here we go check out as i said it's the same size as the, on the text of the notification bar as you can see and it stays the same and if i reaccess again the mobile version it will display the much smaller logo as you can see and as i said in here the number you can actually change this for example let's just go for 50 this is right now 100 so let's just go for 50 and hit save and right now the logo will be much much smaller and let's just reload the page after the changes will save it and here we go check out how small it is right now it's really small as you can see and again if i close this it will get back to the regular size just like you see right now so that's how you change the size for the logo on your shopify store only on the mobile and it will be the same as the regular size on the desktop and the changes will not take effect on the desktop and as i said this is actually a request by one of my subscribers so if you have any video requests or any questions make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my instagram right here below me i don't reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think my job it is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one